Hi there, welcome to East Sussex College Hastings Hair and Beauty Department, Plaza Hair and Beauty. Okay, so I'm going to take you, I'm Jonathan, I'm going to take you on a quick tour of the area, um, ahead of curriculum for this area. So um, we're going to head up going this way first. We've got lots to see, so you're going to have to run and keep up with me, or run ish, more quickly. Loads to see. It's one of the biggest areas in the college, so it's quite spread out as we've got that. Move along. So I know there's a photo shoot going on in here. Well, there will be a photo shoot going on in here. So we've got the board set up for the light all set up there. And Selena is over there. Hi. And she's doing Hi, uh, some makeup. Uh, Selena is our tutor for theatrical media makeup. And um, she's just going to quickly explain to you what she's doing and set a little competition for you. So remember, you need to post, you need to post on this hashtag. There's going to be a few competitions for you, okay? And you're going to win some lovely prizes which Selena can talk to you about. Just a little bundle of makeup prizes. Uh, it's e, hashtag ESC Salon, okay? So hashtag ESC Salon. Over to you, Selena. Hi, guys. Um, I'm a teacher for makeup artists here. I've got a challenge for you. As you can see, I'm doing festival makeup. Um, we should all be doing, going all to all those festivals now. However, we might be able to have a festival themed barbecue soon. Um, so uh, what I want you to do, I want you to create your own festival makeup and hashtag um, ESC salon in it, and then I can see all your work. But before we will do it, I will give you a few tips. Um, come closer. I'm just finishing my one, um, and I will show you how to use face paint. Um, to add this a little bit more festival twist. Um, I will just add a few bits. As you can see, I've done um, something. I will use teardrops and my round brush. Very good for this type of work. It works very, very quickly. I'm just using white face paint. That must be quite difficult to do it in the mirror, Selena. It is. It's usually better to do it on your clients. Um, not as easy to do it on yourself. But at the moment, um, obviously, we can't do it on clients. And not at the moment, unfortunately. So everything that you do, you have to do on yourself, remember? Um, let's just add a bit of glitter here. So tell me a little bit about the courses, and so, so what are the courses that you, um, you teach on? Um, okay, so we offer two um, levels of courses. We've got level two makeup artistry and level three media makeup. Um, for level two qualification, um, you don't need to have any previous experience. Um, we will teach you everything from the basics. Um, on the, for level three qualification, um, you will need to have your level two um, makeup um, qualification um, in order to get onto it. Um, level two um, is very good course if you want to start your own business. And you can work as a freelance uh, makeup artist. You can have your own um, bridal business. Um, you can work in a makeup store um, or you can work for a makeup brand um, because this course covers all those basics. But the better option is to actually start your own business but also study your level three course after that, which is excellent um, route for progression. Um, level three is based on media makeup. Um, so we will um, teach you a lot um, about TV makeup, editorial, uh, editorial fashion and, and photographic. Uh, we cover um, camouflage makeup, uh, which is widely used um, in NHS. That'd be good for sport and UPS, wouldn't it? The camouflage makeup, was that not that kind of camouflage? Uh, that would be more special effects. Oh, right, okay. However, um, level two course covers a little bit of special effects, so I um, will teach you um, basic cuts and bruises. Uh, which is very good. Level 3 is more specialised into um, TV and fashion and photographic makeup. And if you come, well, not this year obviously because we're doing a virtual one, but if you have been to an open event here at, at the college, you will have seen Selena's handiwork on the, the cuts and bruises where she's made up the students who have been in car accidents and you know had massive injuries and things like that. It's absolutely fantastic the work that she does and the things you learn here, absolutely brilliant, absolutely brilliant. And also you can get a part-time job at a festival doing some makeup. As yeah, well. it's, it's a great business. It is. So, moving on from here then, I know work experience wise, uh, you have some strong links with Stables Theatre, don't you? You do makeup for their productions? Yes, Stables Theatre, we work closely with them. 
um, quite um, a lot of our students completed work experience um, in um, local booths and super drug as well. Um, it's very good to learn the basics of different products um, and also this customer service um, and retail, which is very important in this business. Okay, again, so year 10 students, you suggest them getting, if they want to go in this trade, suggest them getting a part time job working at Boots or Super Drug or yes. Tesco's or something like that in the, make in the yeah, makeup um, or other supermarkets are available. But yeah? Yeah, it, 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 it's great because um, it really gives you all the basics and all this experience that you need when you work with clients. And your customer service is the most important one. Fantastic. Well, I'm going to be back later for my makeup. Okay, okay. great. Okay. And uh, yeah. see, you. see you later on, folks. See you later. Oh, sorry. Okay, so what we're going to do now, this is the salon, as you can see, it's a massive, great salon. Uh, we've got sort of the, the makeup artistry there, and we've got split out into different hair salons. So we have different levels working here, the foundation, level two, and, and advanced. And we've got a little barber studio as well down there, which I'm going to show you in a minute. So I'm going to introduce you now to Iris and to Tracy. Um, who are just going to talk through these the, maybe the hairdressing students, the hairdressing students, the tutors. Hairdressing tutors. We were students once. You were students once, yes. They're just going to quickly talk through and then and, uh, Iris has got another little challenge for you to post for some prizes as well. Over to you. Hi, so I'm Tracy, I'm one of the um, hairdressing teachers here. And um, what I'm just going to do is show you how we would section off when we're in the college when you're learning for when you start to do your colour work, which is foiling. So I've done half of it already and we split it down into something called uh, profile, which is from the forehead down to the back of the neck, and then radio, radio, radial, which is from the back of the ear over to the um, opposite ear. So I've done half of it already, and you use the wide tooth end of your comb. And where, where would students learn this? What course would students learn this technically? Uh, students, uh, technically it would be levels two, and then moving on into level three, a different way of doing it. But however, on level one, our students, we don't like to keep them unchallenged. We do start to introduce level two work for them to be able to progress on to as well. So they will be learning this towards the middle and to the end of their level one course as well. And if I just go, if I pretend I've got a little bit of a point just sticking out the top of the head, which is called the crown, pop my index finger behind the back of the ear, just bring my wide tooth comb on the top of the crown, back into my index finger underneath so I can make a nice clean section. I've made that look quite easy. It does take a little bit of practice. I would do it. So I'm please practice. practice. It's actually one of the things that our students struggle with the most is yeah. to get the section in right. And you have to have your section in right. Oh, I'm going to step round. Whoops. This way. Which isn't going very well. You have to get your section in clean and clear because if you don't, it can start to... Um, mess up your colour technique or your, um, any colour result and chip you up on your way through. I've got a few silver clips so I'm just going to put these through just to section that bit of hair there up and out of the way. And I've got one last section here. Um, one thing we are always nagging you about here at the college will be your body position and your body posture as well. So if you sort of look at where I'm standing at the moment, <laughs> looks like I'm just about to ride a horse or something like that. So knee slide. Okay, so I'm going to take the hair. We do teach you, you have to have your hands nice and firm. Um, like Iris has just said, one of the things the students do struggle most with is sectioning. Uh, however, practice makes perfect, and we've been doing it for a long time between us. I seem to be all fingers and thumbs with this one at the moment. Well, you've made that okay. look very, very easy. <laughs> very easy indeed. It's not the best, but it'll do for us. Okay. Fantastic. And you will be working on two your heads like that, and again, your section and we'll end up looking for your basic sectioning. Brilliant. So, Iris. Yes. So, your challenge today is to cut down some foil. So, what you need is just a why do, why do I want to cut some foil down, right? To put into the hair when you change the colour. So, foiling, I love foiling, but it's one of those things that um, it takes a long time to get right. So, what you can do from home during the summer, get yourself a cheap foil thinner the better I think and you start folding it over once you've done that I would recommend this is called a pintail coat get one of those flatten the ends and 
and then use the end of your pin tail comb to cut nice straight lines. So the challenge is to make 10 almost identical foil package. So what you have to do, fold it over and I tuck it over the end of the tail of the comb. Fold it right up to just underneath where you tuck it. I tend to do it twice, some people do it once. And then tuck the sides in. How many have we got to make of those? Ten. Ten? Now, I want them to have got a don't forget we've got post They have to post it. I've done some here before. So these ones have been folded over once. These ones have been folded over twice. So they need to look pretty similar. And these ones have got the shiny side out. These ones have got the shiny, shiny side, side in. in. So it's important that your foil look really kind of consistent and neat. And yeah, the same side up, ideally. It doesn't really matter which side you go for. Uh, but I want to see them really neat, really tidy. Much like so remember, post that to hashtag ESC Salon, and then, then you'll win a prize in that bag. Prize yes, that bag there for the goodies. Lots of lovely hair goodies in here, and we've got a first and second prize going out for that. Brilliant. So, if you're not into women's hair, and well, not just women's hair, but hairdressing in general, you could come and see this man here. This man here is Christopher Stevens, Hi guys. barber extraordinaire. I'm working in the department department, so welcome. Yeah. Uh, you can see I'm, I'm, I'm working on my brother. It's not. It's working on a twitch head, so we practice on twitch heads, but we actually practice on real people. Um, so you could be cutting the hair on a real person day one or day two. That's quite common. So at the moment, I'm just doing a little bit of styling the hair, which you guys will be um, assessed on. So be done on, on twitch heads on each other, also the public as well. So if you look to come do barbering, uh, I think we are the best. And Robert and Hastings, we offer more opportunities. So we do work experience in Seville, or have offered it in the past. Um, we have industry, we've done about 50 hours this year alone, and I want to beat that target and have maybe 100 hours of industry coming in, teaching my students to be the best. Um, I work in industry as well, so not only do I work at the college, but I also run my own business as well, so what I practice is what I teach as well, so hopefully you guys do enjoy. So at the moment I'm just finishing off the styling the hair, uh, which is a very important part of uh, the barbering world. Um, we do some cutthroat work, I would do it as a challenge, but I think it's a bit too scary to do that sort of thing at home. So we won't be dead today. We're going to do something a bit more fun in a minute. Um, so you guys can do that in a minute. Should we do now? We can show them around. Show them the barbering area. So down here is a barbering area. So most of you will be working down here on Twitch Heads and obviously yourself as well. Um, take it down here. Um, we're very, very lucky to have uh, six barber chairs. I think it's the most in Rother and Hastings offering the most barber chairs. Uh, we do tech level. I believe at the moment we're the only college offering tech level barbering, but don't hold me to that. Um, we do things uh, cutthroat, uh, we work on pattern work, um, we do everything. We take our clippers apart, we shampoo, cleanse, health and safety, sterilisation, everything. And also as we have the opportunity to go to uh, local barber shops where, coming from myself, which is uh, industry, they open a barber shop for us and we go there for a night and they play music have um, team teaching going on, peer teaching going on, so it's great fun as well. Excellent. Uh, I don't even see that bomb, that's one of my students from last year, doing their work, so you just prove that I do work on real people as well. Always need clients. Okay. Okay. Right, challenge time. Challenge, challenge time. time. Okay. Bit of fun, is it? Bit of fun. We've got this got some shaving foam, so I'm gonna get loads of it on you. I'm sure you've got shaving foam at home. Could be real messy, I'm afraid. I'm gonna and again, post your pictures to the ESC salon after this. Look at that. So the challenge is get loads of shaving foam. I'll put a bit for you. Uh, you've got 15 to 30 seconds to throw as much popcorn on someone's face, hashtag it, and throw it into the uh, website, please. Go on, you've got 15 seconds. <laughs> I'm thinking it. Go on. Oh, that's it. No, one more. Uh, that's it. No, no. Is there any more? There's four. You've got four points. There you go, I've got a bag there. Oh, bag. It's, supposed to be one at, it's supposed to be one at a time, but you can do something like that before it's done. Like I say, right. Rob is the most fun job in the world. I've just proved it as well. So, uh, come to the best exciting industry in the world. Come and join Barbara. Let's go. Right, thank you guys. Thank you. Bye. Thank you. Oh, dear. 
Okay, so we're going to do now. We're going to go into, into beauty um, and bring the guys in beauty. So, first person I'm going to introduce you is Andrea. So, I'm just frying popcorn with Chris here, so that'd be amazing. How are you? Oh, yeah, that is. It's covered up. So, it's Andrea. Hello. Andrea uh, is a, one of our beauty lecturers here, and she's going to. Um, Quickly explain to you about the courses, I am. these fantastic facilities, and set you another challenge to post the hashtag ESC Salon. So, um, as Jonathan said, I'm Andrea and I look after the level two beauty students here. So, level two are all your real bread and butter fundamental treatments, which are facials, manicures, pedicures, waxing, and eye treatments, along with the health and safety and anatomy. So today I'm just gonna set you a very quick challenge, which is all about professional nail painting, and you will have a prize. So I'm just gonna very quickly, quickly show you how we professionally apply polish, and hopefully it will go well. So before you do your polish application, make sure that you always clean your nail off with some nail varnish remover, otherwise your polish won't stick properly. You must always also use a base coat. I'm not gonna do that today because we are running out of time, but your base coat will allow you to have a nice smooth um, surface for your polish to apply to. So when you're applying your nail varnish, and I'd like you to do this on one of your own hands, so obviously if you're right-handed, apply to your left hand. The best way of doing this is apply your brush down towards the cuticle, allow your brush to fan out and then gently sweep it up to the free edge which is the very end of your nail. Go to the other side and swing your brush round and do the same. If you need to come down the side, you can see I've missed a little bit there, that's okay. You can just bring that round. So, what I'd like you to do for the challenge is to paint the whole of one hand as neat as you possibly can and send a 30 second video. For the person who sends the video first, you get these, which are some beautiful bath salts. For the person with the neatest nail polish application, you will be sent a lovely spa find facial kit. I'm gonna go and practice. Good. You need to practice. So I need your yes. So, so that's that. And um, we're going to move on. We are. We're going to we're going to go and see Mia now. Uh, Mia, Mia. Thank you, Andrew. You're very welcome. Hi. I'll, I'll introduce what you do, Mia. I don't know if you just want to come to this side a little bit here. So um, I teach here on the level four mainly, and that's micro pigmentation, tattooing, eyebrows, and things like that. I think you'll all agree that's one of the biggest things, one of the most important things in the industry at the moment is your brows. So. When we are tattooing brows, we use literally uh, proper tattoo needles. Okay, this is a five slope needle here. If this was a real client, it's exactly the same. I would have drawn the template on as I have done here, and then I'm gonna start tattooing. So I'm just literally gonna do a few hair strokes just to show you guys um, what we do. Uh, within the course, you will also learn how to do eyeliner and also lip treatments as well. So I've got my needle, I've got my pigment in there. I'm now gonna come down to the synthetic skin I'm working on here now. Is there an age limit for this course, Mia? Um, you do have to be 18, yes, you so do have good, to be 18. So it's a good progression course, so uh, these lovely people could come along uh, and study three years with us and then move on to studying this in, in their third or fourth year. Absolutely, yeah, it's, it's one of those things, it's, it's a really good skill to have. Um, you can earn a lot of money out there in industry if you get yourself a good reputation, get yourself a good name doing this. Um, it's one of those things, the treatments ma need maintenance once a year. So once you build your clientele, you'll get them keep coming back and coming back to you because we all know perfect brows is what everybody wants. Yeah, mine look more than perfect, obviously, because I've got that needle. <laughs> of course. <laughs> so I'm just working along the brow here. Now you can see I'm sort of adjusting the way in which I work with the needle in order to mimic a natural hair brow, hair stroke. You can also do this as a, a powder brow as well, so more of a solid look if you're wanting to as well. I'll just do a couple more on the end there just to show you. So a lot of people will ask me, does this treatment hurt? The answer is yes, it is a tattoo, so it is a little bit of pain involved. Um, but if you were to study this course, you'll also learn how to use topical anaesthetics safely as well. So we just then wipe away and you can see you've got in your tattooed hair strokes there. If this was a normal client, you would then go on to, to build this up and you do a second and a third pass over to get the real natural and build the hair stroke brow up in that way. 
We also offer on level four as well, I'll just very quickly point you to this machine here, which is our all singing, all dancing um, laser machine. We can do hair removal with this, tattoo removal, so if anybody's had a bad tattoo, we can remove that for you. Um, and also skin rejuvenation as well, so anti-aging, making it all round look a lot better. Right, loads, okay. loads of them, isn't it? It's <laughs> loads. So, if you come around this way, you can come around this way. This is Sarah. Hello. Uh, so we're going to finish off with Sarah, and she's going to talk to you about the level three and the spa. And then we're going to, we're going to do, we're going to finish with Sarah, and then we're going to run really quickly and show the spa, because I know we're going to run out of time. So, uh, okay. just conscious of that. So, once you finish your level two beauty, you can progress on to the level three beauty and spa, where you will do the facial electrical treatments, like this one which is a micro microdermabrasion treatment, which takes off the dead skin layer and is an anti-aging treatment and takes off scar tissue. Uh, body electrical treatments, body massage treatments, hot stone treatments, and spa treatments, which I'm going to take you through to the spa now. Okay. Do you want to go so we yourself? have three beautiful, large commercial salons, and we have different groups running throughout the day of different levels. And this is usually where the level three students will be working. And then if we come through here, I don't very think you'll find facilities car. like this anywhere else. <coughs> so we are the only college in the southeast with a spa. This is our relaxation area where the clients will relax and cool down after the spa treatments. And then and they're, they're very relaxing. Do you want to go through and I'll And so we're both proud of our facilities. We have the bar pool, we have the steam room here, and we have a sauna. So the clients can come warm up, relax, soften their skin, ready for the spa treatments that we're going to be providing afterwards. So body contour wraps, hot mud treatments, lots of pampering, bring your mums along. Absolutely. Well, thank you very much for watching. Um, any questions, uh, please get in contact with us. Visit the website, check out the courses we've got on offer. If you're a year 10 student, really think about what you're studying at school, work hard in GCSE, get those, get those maths and English uh, qualifications. It's really, really important, because otherwise you're going to have to do income here anyway. So get them done that way. Really enjoy the course that you want to do apply for. If, you, if you're a year 11 and uh, you haven't applied, apply. Come here, it is the best college there in beauty in the South East England. And I'm on record saying that. Okay, see you soon.